is the movie. I'm an independent trader. I'm loving it. Let's see which stall will be the next one to go. They won't be happy till the clothes is all down. But it won't take me without a fight. Brendan, what's your favourite colour? Oh, very good. Blue. Thanks very much for them. Thanks very much. It's great to see you. Thanks very much. Um... But I've got a couple of minutes with you. Mrs. Brown is in a, a, a big fight. She's having a ruck with Maleficent, who's a witch, Wolverine, and Godzilla. Yeah. It's a big box office scrap. It is. And you know, my money's on her. Why do you think she's got it what it takes to duff up Godzilla? Because she can turn off the telly. And they're only TV characters. She's real. <laughs> having, having a major film to play with and the, the major budget to play with as well, was there anything you treated yourself to in the film like, I don't know, stunt bosoms, for example? <laughs> no, 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 you know, if you need stunt bosoms, there's always someone available. Thankfully, and that's thanks to Stephen McCrum, our producer, I wasn't even conscious of the budget. Even in writing the TV series, uh, although we're restricted to three sets, he would always say to me, just write whatever you want to write. Uh, in in the, the TV program, uh, last year, I wrote a, uh, an electronic rotating and tilting Christmas tree. I drew the design for it, I drew the engineering for it, and they went and got it made. The previous year, I drew a baby delivering cannon for the nativity play, in which the baby shot out of her pelvic uh, exit uh, at 80 miles an hour. Uh, they gladly built that. So I, I never felt restricted. And in the case of the movie, he just said again, just write whatever you think you want to write, and we'll make it fit. He did say, of course, that you know, if I write Concord crashes in through the wall, it may end up with a guy coming through the window on a bicycle. But we get a version of it. And when, when you were greenlit for the film, you said that you could write anything, you could do what you like, you know, Concord through a window. Friends said to Universal, they greenlit this before there was a script. As soon as Johnny Fewings heard there was going to be a movie, he came to me and said, we're on. I said, well, I haven't decided what it's going to be about yet. We're in. We're in. We're making this movie. What did you, did you see? <coughs> was that the first face you pulled, or, or that, or what was the first, when you first... No, I, I, I pretended to be really confident. I went, I don't blame you, Johnny. You're quite right. This could probably go very well. And then I went there, so I went... <laughs> <laughs> and what was, so what was the kind of the, the, the first scene that you thought, well, if I'm going to make a film, I could do something big. I'm allowed to do something big because we've got the machinery, the apparatus at our disposal. I always wanted to open a movie like Oliver, like Consider Yourself at Home. I wanted to do something like that. And, and it was a perfect storm for me because my favourite band at the moment is The Script. We're a brilliant band. And I know the guys, but I didn't want to ask them to write something for the movie because... I know if I asked them, they'd say yes, but I didn't want them to do it because I, just because I asked. I wanted them to want to do it. I know that sounds stupid. But as it turns out, Mark's nan and his mum were both dealers on Moor Street. So he wanted to write as a tribute to them. So when he wrote, we always have a good time. We got the choreography done and we designed the whole thing through the markets because that's where she lives. That's her life. And it's sensational. The dance opening scene is just brilliant. And it's, it, I don't care what the rest of the movie, I, I sat there going, I don't care what happens to the rest of the movie, that's, my, that's what I always wanted to do and I've done it. And it's coming out in summer, and of course, uh, big, big time for films, um, huge amount of expectation, not franchises and robots and superheroes. And I was just wondering, if, if Mrs. Brown, perhaps, was to describe some of the biggest summer films ever, uh, okay, how, how do you think she'd do it? If I, if I ask, how, how do you think Mrs. Brown would describe, for example, Jaws? Very, very good. Those people were persecuted. They should never... The, the final solution was disgraceful. And I think the Nazi Party and all those people need to be brought to justice. The Dark Knight, the Batman movie? Batman? Is that Babe Ruth? Is that about baseball? Star Wars, how, how do you think she'd feel about Star Wars? Yeah, for it. Fantastic. They should never have took it off the air. It was much better than The Voice. Lots of big, big stars came out of that. <laughs> Threaten my mother, and I'm not having it. <laughs>